Hi everyone, how's it going? Team here, and it is time to pick a topic for another series. So today I will offer you five topics that I've, uh, you know, listened to your feedback and that you are interested in. Um, that we might do as a part of the next series, and you will uh, help me pick which one we're actually stopping on. That doesn't mean you know we won't do the other ones, but we have to pick something and do it first, right? So. Uh, let's start with a topic number one, which is a data science and data analytics project. So this is um, heavily related to what I do on a daily basis on my uh, job. And this is why I actually, you know, like this topic probably has the biggest description and biggest uh, list of covered topics uh, within it, right? So the idea is that we are uh, going to build a platform that would convert textual data to structured data and visualize it in a meaningful way. For example, if we take reviews of a products, uh, be it the articles from a press or reviews from people on Amazon or whatever, most of them are uh, using the number systems, right? So you have like this game is rated seven out of 10. Um, that actually tells you nothing. So this, those numbers are meaningless if you don't know the person behind the numbers and what he likes, right? So the idea would be to take those reviews, put them through data processing, uh, get the keywords, get sentiments, get mentioned entities and stuff like this, and then render it in a way that would tell you more info about the product than just a number that was like seven out of 10, you know? Um, within this course, I would talk about obviously data scraping and cleaning because we would need to extract data from the whatever websites we decide to. I would talk about data processing, so sentiment analysis, entity extraction, entity recognition, um, like keyword extraction, whatever you can imagine, basically. Whatever we would need there, I will uh, talk and show you the tools that I generally use. Obviously, data visualization is a thing, so because we have to visualize it on screen somehow. Um, I want as well touch on microservices here. So again, this is something that I use daily in my uh, job because we are working with a pretty large amounts of data here. Um, I don't think this project would actually require microservices, but I think it would be fun to play around with them and show you, you know, how I do this uh, and to use those microservices to build processing data processing pipelines. Uh, so this is about it for it. The second suggested project is embedded programming uh, with Raspberry Pi or something similar, basically, you know, small Linux machines that you can get for like 20 bucks. Um, I honestly not really sure what we're going to build here. My, like the only idea I could come up with was to build a, like, you know, homebrew gaming console that would emulate uh, NES, GBA or whatever, Game Boy Advance, you know, some old consoles uh, because the, for example, Nintendo um, classic, NES classic thing is insane. And you know, like you can't really buy it properly. So why not build our own? This is an option. If you have better suggestion here, do let me know because you know, if you have a cool project, let's build that. I'm all in for that. So the covered topics obviously include like embedded programming, uh, working in environments with limited resources and working with uh, whatever device we decide to work with, for example, Raspberry Pi, know how to configure, how to set up, how to install Linux on it, and so on and so forth. Right, third topic is bots. Um, again, we're going to build a simple bot. Um, I'm not really sure which one, so we can do a Discord, Twitch, whatever. Most of those API are kind of similar, so it's probably we can just build a bot that is ubiquitous and can be plugged into um, other systems. That shouldn't be a big problem. Um, covered topics are pretty straightforward. We're going to build a bot that does something. Again, if you know, if you have a cool idea about bot, do let me know. We can um, build your project again. So I, you know, I just don't really have any good ideas here. Um, and we're obviously going to use a third party bot API from Discord, Twitch, whatever, sort of like Facebook. I guess, you know, we can, we can make it pluggable again the same way we did it with um, um, Electron Video app. So that should work. Topic number four is mobile applications using React Native. Uh, so we can talk about that. So we're gonna build some mobile app using React Native. Uh, one suggestion, which I think is kind of interesting and covers a lot of things, could be an Instagram clone, for example, because you know it's like image uploading, image filtering, um, profiles, like social stuff, all that kind of things. Uh, so it could be interesting to do that. Um, covered topics will include the mobile development in general, because, you know, even if you are using React Native, you still have to know the basics of Android and iOS, how they work, what kind of like, what is intense, for example, in Android and how the memory is managed and all that kind of stuff, because otherwise this stuff won't work, especially something as heavy as Instagram clone that actually works on images. 
Right. And uh, again, same here. If you have a better project in mind than Instagram clone, do let me know. I'm always in for that. Uh, this is, you know, the best I could, <laughs> could come up with. Uh, and the last one is machine learning. So there's people been asking for this. Um, so we're going to build a machine learning system. Uh, what I'm thinking is we can actually add that to a data science topic because they kind of align really well, you know, when you have a lot of data to analyze. Machine learning does help quite a bit. And, you know, in terms of reviews, we could use it um, to build something like a recommendation engine that you can, like, you know, train in browser. That would be fun, I guess. Um, but yeah, like we can see. Uh, again, I don't really have a good idea here aside from the adding it to the uh, topic number one. Uh, if you do, let me know. And um, topics are pretty straightforward. So we're going to be talking about using machine learning as a developer. I am not the right person to talk about building um, like creating machine learning systems, right? So building a system that utilizes machine learning is quite simple because there are a lot of solutions out there. Creating machine learning system yourself from the scratch is a completely different thing. And if you want to do that, um, I mean, there's plenty of resources online. So go learn, you will need a lot of math. <laughs> yeah, um, I think that's about it. So I will um, add a link to the some poll or Google Forms or whatever, where you can um, pick the ones that you like more and leave me feedback for, you know, what kind of project you want to build. Maybe you have a uh, suggestions for types of project we can build with. Maybe you have some other suggestions. So there's going to be a link in the description to this video or in a medium article that I'm uh, going to post with this video, go click it, go reply, at least pick the projects that you would like to see. And um, yeah, so this is what we're going to do next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.